There's a certain property of the Earth that many people either don't understand or don't fully appreciate, and that's simply that the world does not stay stagnant in terms of its look. Usually this would mean that we're talking about people building modern things on older lands, but it's more than that at times. Sometimes the Earth just gobbles things up, and that means that they need to be found again, and when they're found, it's usually underground. That's why archaeology is such a major thing, because you never know at times what's buried beneath your feet. Here now are 20 most amazing things found buried underground. Number 20. Tomb and Sarcophagus We'll begin with one that comes from a classic area of the world, that being Egypt. Finding things buried underground here isn't just expected, it's what began the modern archaeology boom. Starting with King Tut's tomb in various ways, all sorts of people descended into Egypt to see what other keys to the past would be unlocked. The funny thing here is that due to the vast history of Egypt, plus the desert that literally rises and falls at the whim of nature, there's a lot that can be found here, including a long-lost tomb that had two sarcophagi in it. What scientists found inside this coffin? shock the whole world. An archaeological mission affiliated with France's University of Strasbourg made the discovery in the valley near the city of Luxor back in 2018. The two sarcophagi each had a mummy within them, and each of them were truly perfectly preserved, which is obviously what you want when you make a find like this. After all, the better preserved they are, the better they are for examination and figuring out who they were, what their lives were like, and so on. For example, within that tomb were over 1,000 funerary statues, further highlighting how sacred the rite of passage to the afterlife is for Egyptians. The tombs believed to date back to the 18th dynasty which spanned from 1550 BC to about 1300 BC, and these are the kinds of finds that at times can really get people excited because this was very much a lost tomb and then it was found again with true wonders within. And naturally, if there's a tomb like this to be found here, there are more to be discovered. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Mammoth Skeleton Alongside Egyptian artifacts, finding the bones of long-deceased animal species are another classic thing to discover underground. Because while humanity may rule the roost right now, that doesn't mean that they did all the time. Long before man was dominant, animals roamed the world from top to bottom and fought for supremacy, but in the Ice Age, few creatures were as big and as intimidating as a woolly mammoth. These things were massive in size, had a thick fur coat that would allow them to brave the cold, and more. So now now, just imagine finding one of their skeletons beneath your home. James Bristol and a friend were digging in his southern Michigan soybean field when they unearthed a nearly complete skeleton of the ancient creature. In this case, they found a skull and two tusks, along with numerous vertebrae. Oh, and they found the pelvis bone as well. We didn't need to tell you that, but... I just really wanted to. Anyways, the finding of a bone skeleton like this is very interesting indeed, due to the fact that you don't picture Michigan as being a hot spot where these mammoths would have roamed. But in the ancient world, before things got all advanced and modernized, what we know as the United States was a very different place. Plus, just imagine the stories that the guy gets to tell now, because he can say with a straight face that he had a woolly mammoth at his house, and he wouldn't be lying. It's always an interesting thing to see what's in your own backyard, you know. Number 18. Tolland Man Throughout archaeological history, there have been many finds of great importance, but what might surprise a lot of you is that a lot of the big finds weren't weapons or even remnants of times that were long past. They were actually of people, specifically people who had gone through the ringer at times. Now, you might know some of the finds of people in strange places, but it's a bit different here as I'm talking about the Tolland Man. But who is the Tolland Man? Well, he was someone who was found buried within a peat bog by a family 
family in the 1950s, and I'm pretty sure they got a big shock out of it, especially since the man was actually perfectly preserved due to the bog. You can even see his expression perfectly on his face, and it's pretty creepy. But that also made it the perfect entity to be able to study, which they not only did, but were able to somehow identify even his last meal. They had to reconstruct the last meal of the Tallinn man in such great detail that it could actually be recreated. It all gives them just a larger picture of what life actually may have been 2400 years ago, which is believed to have been when he lived. It's believed that the man might have been a human sacrifice, and we know he died involuntarily because a rope was also found around his neck. That's not creepy at all. Number 17. Assyrian Artifacts now there's a lot of evil out there in the world today, and hopefully you don't have to be reminded of that, as it's an ever-present thing in various parts of the world. But one thing that makes the evil even more evil is the desire to destroy the various artworks and artifacts of a nation's history. Now you may recall Germany doing this during the Second World War, and thus why a group known as Monument Men were formed in order to save the arts. And with the group known as ISIS, they did the same thing in Afghanistan and other places. Places. They would go onto social media in order to showcase the destruction of various artifacts that they committed, but in a funny twist, it was ISIS trying to make tunnels that led to the Iraqis finding long lost treasure. Iraqi government officials confirmed the discovery of ancient artifacts and tunnels that were dug by ISIS fighters in eastern Mosul back in 2017. And what's more, it wasn't only relics that they found, it was from the legendary Assyrian Empire, making them a key part of the region's history. Now naturally, they wanted to immediately preserve these long lost treasures, however the tunnels that they were discovered in weren't the most stable of places, but as they say, life does find a way, and that goes double here due to how the bad guys help the good guys to get what they wanted. Number 16. The Sea Dragon now, sadly, I'm not talking about an actual dragon fossil being found, but could you imagine if it was? Rather, I'm talking about a fossil being found that was over 180 million years old and a dinosaur, according to scientists. Which, if you can't tell, is a creature that had the nickname the Sea Dragon. The gigantic skeleton of the extinct prehistoric reptile, which lived alongside the dinosaurs, discovered during the Jurassic period, was found during routine maintenance on a British nature preserve. Oh, and it should be noted that this isn't just another fossil, it's actually one of the most complete and largest that was ever found of this creature. Now you might not realize that we're honestly very lucky when we get a complete skeleton dug up from various spots. Many a time, the bones are either scattered or they're lost, or they're just crushed up if they're even fossilized at all. So exactly how big was it that it got people all excited like this? Well, it was said to be about 32 feet long. So add that length and its rarity in terms of completeness, and you've got a find for the ages. It was a truly unprecedented discovery and one of the greatest finds in British paleontology. Now, they have every right to be happy and joyous, and it just goes to show that sometimes the finds of the past are going to be very popular with the people of the present. Number 15. Hidden Tunnel So, picture this. You're getting settled into your new home when you just feel that something isn't right about the architecture. Or perhaps there's more to the place than meets the eye. For one man from Illinois, he learned that this was actually the truth because beneath his home was a mysterious tunnel. And not just a tunnel, but actually a tunnel from centuries past. It was found after part of the sidewalk fell apart and the man saw an entryway in. There was a problem with the sidewalk, and as they were doing some excavating and repacking, of the rock, that's when they discovered the tunnel. There was a lot of brick, and whatever they built it for, it took a lot of men and a lot of hours. Now, that's where the key mystery of the tunnel lies, because nobody really truly builds something without having a reason for it. And if you think about it, if you're going to make a tunnel anywhere, especially one that has to be done in a certain way, you have a plan for it, and a plan for what to do with it. Or else we'd all have a lot of tunnels that just go nowhere. One theory was that the tunnel was 
used for the Underground Railroad, which would make a lot of sense because Illinois was a northern state. And what's more, you could sneak into the tunnel and use it to get to the house and hopefully to freedom. Or if you needed to escape, down the tunnel you went. It also should be noted that this wasn't the only one that was found in this area of Illinois. Number 14. Roman Mosaic now, I'll be clear about something. When it comes to the ancient world, it's not just language and key relics of gods and warriors that were valued. Art was also something that helped to bring life and beauty to various kingdoms and empires. Now, we fast forward to 2017, and a masterpiece of ancient art would be discovered. One that ties to the Roman Empire and depicts a chariot race in great detail. It was thought to have been part of a mansion all the way back in 4 AD. It lay undisturbed for centuries until a farmer in a Cyprus village about 14 miles outside of the capital of Nicosia stumbled upon a mosaic fragment from another part of the mansion in 1938. The site itself didn't give the chance to be dug up until 2013, but the results very much speak for themselves. Now, if you look at the detail of the chariot race being depicted here, whether it was meant to recall a favorite race or just one that the artist saw, they went to great lengths to depict everything as best as possible. Now, for those of you who know your Roman history, you'll recall that chariot races were a key part of the entertainment aspect of the Republic and the Empire, and were known to be fierce competitions of both skill and a person's ability to ride. Despite what people may think, these races were actually bigger than the gladiator fights in the Colosseum, and so it's no wonder that someone who had wealth in Rome wanted this mosaic of this popular sport of the time. Number 13. Hypogeum of Hal Saflini. Now, I'm going to admit that not only is this one a bit unique, but I also probably mangled that pronunciation. And if you feel really hurt about it, you can let me know all about it in the comments down below. It's going to make a real big difference. In 1902, archaeologists would stumble upon this thing, a massive underground structure that was located on the island of Malta and is made of limestone bricks. Now, those who have studied it believe that the structure was built about 2500 BCE, and what's more, it was first apparently made to be a sanctuary, but then it soon became a necropolis. A key change in job title, I would say. But wait, there's more, and it's a twist. Because this thing had a room that was very special and most unique. Specifically, it was an oracle room, one that was reserved for a seer of the future. And if you were to go into the room, you would realize very quickly that sound is amplified in that place by a great deal over 100 times what it's supposed to be, in fact. And it's there where the big mystery of the place is, because you simply have to wonder, was this an intentional act or perhaps an accident? Because how would the ancient workers of this structure know how to basically make a massive echo chamber? Was it built that way to help the oracle with their visions, or did it simply serve as something else that nobody knows about? These are the mysteries that keep people going in the best of ways, because you'd think that we'd have an easy answer for something like this, but in fact, nobody does. But that's what makes it cool. Seriously though, don't go shouting in this place if you visit. It's not worth the ringing ears. Number 12. Plane of Jars now, you might not think that jars are something of true historical significance, but you would be completely wrong. Most ancient cultures used jars for various reasons, and as a result, some even held treasures that were eventually found. Fast forward to the modern day in Laos, and a very unique thing was discovered underground and would be known as the Plain of Jars. It consists of thousands of stone jars scattered around the upland valleys and the lower foothills of the central plains, and the jars are arranged in clusters ranging in numbers from one to several hundred. According to those that have researched the place, they noted that the jars were put in place as early as 1240 to 660 BC. This would help to support a theory that the jars were put next to human remains that happened to be in the area as the remains were indeed found. One specific belief that was held was that the bodies of people would be put into the jars and then later the bones would be taken out and put into the ground. This isn't the weirdest burial ritual out there, so trust me when I say that it could be just more than a guess. But only with further research and examination of this plane of jars can we truly learn about them. Number 11. Statue of Ramses II 
Back to ancient Egypt we go, where this time around we'll be discussing a giant statue of Ramses II that was uncovered near Cairo. The recovered bust and head of the antique statue measured 8 meters in length and was made of quartzite, a very impressive size and build. What's more, the statue was apparently 3,000 years old, and they also found a smaller one that appeared to be that of the grandson of Ramses II. Well, why is this important? Because Ramses II is widely regarded by the Egyptian people as one of the best to ever rule over the land. Not only did he treat the people of Egypt great, but he was also a fierce leader on the battlefield, gaining a lot of respect from the world and from history itself as a result of his talent. Now, it would make perfect sense that the people of Egypt would want to be able to honor their favorite ruler with a massive statue of him and his family. Respect for the pharaohs of Egypt is easily one of the things that you can count on from most of the Egyptian culture. That and sand, because it's everywhere. It should also be noted that the placement of the statue is not without key ties to the leader, as he once said that the world itself was made in a place called Heliopolis, which is where the statue is found and probably is a place that I've also mangled the pronunciation of. Oh well, you'll let me know, I'm sure. Number 10. Grave of Richard III Think of some of the most famous rulers of all time, and how they were buried, or how we think they were buried. You'd likely expect every major ruler to have a dedicated tomb or a burial site so that their remains would never be forgotten. But in the case of King Richard III, the opposite was very much true. You see, his bones would be found in 2012, and when they were, it raised many cheers for the finding of a lost king but it also raised a whole lot of eyebrows. But why is that, you may be asking? Because the grave that the king had been put in was anything but luxurious. In fact, it was quite tiny compared to all that had come before him. To paint you a picture, it was so small that the king's body didn't even fit properly, and thus his head was forced to look up. No one's really sure why the grave is so small, but one theory is that it was dug in a hurry due to the events of the time, but wouldn't that mean that they didn't give the time of day to a fallen king? No matter what you may believe, the fact and truth is, this king was fortunate to be found, and there's a deep mystery in his burial. Get it? Deep? Buried? I'll just move on. Number 9. Desert Whales now, if I were to tell you that there were whale bones found in Egypt, you may immediately think that they were victims of being washed ashore and not making their way back to the ocean, which for the record has happened in the past. However, I'm not talking about those kinds of whales. Rather, I'm talking about how an ancient suborder of extinct whales were found in the western desert of Egypt. Specifically, about something that I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, and if you've ever heard of this thing before, it's probably because it was a precursor to the whale, one that used to live on land. That's why they're so important to scientists, because they're a key step in the evolutionary chain that is the whale species. So by studying these fossils, the archaeologists and scientists of the world get a much better vision of how the land-dwelling mammal became a sea-dwelling one, a key piece of history of our universe. Number 8. Roman Shipwrecks Now, if I were to tell you that someone found some ancient Roman ships, you'd be amazed, but perhaps not surprised per se. Ships like these do turn up in various places, but if I told you that they were found 1300 years after they sunk in Serbia, that may be a different story altogether. And indeed, that is exactly what happened. What's more, it happened in a coal mine, and these ships weren't small. The largest of them was 49 feet in length. Two smaller boats, each carved out of a single tree trunk, match ancient descriptions of dugout boats used by Slavic groups to row across the Danube River and attack the Roman frontier. Oh, and to show you exactly how deep underground they were, they were 23 feet under silt and clay. Number 7 mummified cats and scarabs. 
All right, back to Egypt we go, and we must have missed talking about something on the list. Oh, right, cats and scarabs. Now, you may know that when it comes to Egyptian burials, they usually don't do one for a major member of the family or the royal court without decorating it with certain items to join them in the afterlife. <laughs> But what if I told you that some of the things that they had buried with them were mummified animals like cats and scarabs? Well, you better say I believe it, because that's exactly what occurred. In 2019, a set of mummy cats and scarabs would be discovered and eventually put on display in Cairo. Mummifying animals isn't all that of a new discovery for Egypt, but to have them be in the tomb in this way, especially the scarabs, that's another thing entirely. And it even showcases that we still don't know everything about this subculture. Number 6. Air Raid Shelter because in the days of the first two main world wars, all sorts of protections were given and made for people to be safe. In World War II, especially in places like England, one of the things that they made sure of that they had were air raid shelters. The Germans were all up for bombing everything in sight, so having a shelter would help to reduce the damage. Fast forward to our modern times, and a man by the name of Simon Marks decided to investigate a hole in his driveway. That's pretty basic stuff when you're old and bored except that the hole would lead him to finding a full-on World War II air raid shelter. His house was literally built over the thing. Now you'd think that someone would have mentioned that in the open house or even disclosed it in the realty paperwork. Some might have been even freaked out about what happened, but Marx was actually impressed with it all, saying that it was so well structured with the concrete roof and the walls that it was clear what it was going to be used for. They even Googled other air raid shelters and they were all of a similar structure, so it clicked quite quickly. Indeed, and now he has one heck of a story to tell about his property. Number 5. German Underground Hospital and you want something even bigger to be found underground? Well, how about a hospital? There's a twist in all of this, though, because it wasn't only a hospital that eventually got buried underground. Instead, it was a building that was hidden amongst a variety of titles in the Channel Island. Now, I don't think it's all that easy to get there. There are apparently a maze of tunnels meant to confuse you. Plus, if you were to look upon the land from the sky, you wouldn't even be able to see it unless you notice the doors to the area itself. It all just goes to show you how much the Germans actually didn't want people to find their hospital. Number 4. Ra Paulette's Cave now, as I've already noted, art is a big part of culture, and many people show their love for art in a variety of ways. But for Ra Paulette, he had something a little bit, well, let's just say it was different in mind. Because after seeing what Mount Rushmore was like, he actually underwent his own journey to carve up a mountain, and the results are actually quite breathtaking. He worked alone for 25 years in a New Mexico cave that he had built, meaning a man-made cave and not a natural one, and then when he had the space, he actually made his art. Think of the amount of detail that would go into making this happen. Having to not only make a cave, but then to make the art. That's another story entirely. And yes, it is pretty cool. It should give you some impressions and appreciation for just how dedicated that artists can be. Now sure, I don't exactly expect you to hide yourself in a cave and do art for 25 years, but at least if you thought about it, you could say that you know someone who did it first. Number 3. Egyptian Cheese now, how about another Egyptian find? Trust me, this one's going to be quite special. In short, while observing a cave that was discovered, they found some jars. Now, when they looked inside of one of the broken jars, they found something truly unique, that being cheese. There were cheese in the jars, and that's pretty dang gouda. But here's the best part. Somehow, someway, that cheese was able to last for 3,200 years, and that's what makes it the oldest cheese that was ever found in the world. And if you're curious, the conditions of the area made it so that the cheese didn't wither away and die. See, I told you that jars were pretty special. Number 2. Gobleki Tepe 
Gobleki Tepe is an ancient structure that you'll find in Turkey. They call the place the world's first temple, and though that's more than enough to add it to our list, there are other elements to this that can't be ignored, such as how there are stones that were placed in Gobleki Tepe that outlive Stonehenge by about 6,000 years. So yes, this place did the stone setting first. The tallest pillars towers were 16 feet and weighed between 7 and 10 tons. The temple is 1,000 feet above a nearby valley, and thus many come to see the views and wonder what the ancients who made this temple might have seen themselves. This is the kind of history that excites a lot of people, and it's not hard to see why. Number 1. The Mega City of Ants how well do you know ant colonies? Well, if you read about them in books or put them in your view in school, you'll know that ant colonies can have a very deep and varied structure that makes them perfect for the millions that at times will inhabit them. But in 2012, scientists found something they did not expect, a megalopolis city made by ants that was believed to have housed millions within it. Now look, I know that ants can have big places, but this is just simply ridiculous. The twist in all of this is that while the city was grand, there were no ants in it when it was finally discovered, leaving many to wonder what caused the ants to depart such a city that was so grand and incredible in scale and scope. Were they forced out by nature? Perhaps by rivals? Well, nobody really knows, but we can all just imagine the work that it might have taken to make something of this size. That's all from the realm of incredible things being buried and then found again underground. Were you amazed by all the amazing treasures and artifacts that were found with in the world, and which of these treasures would you personally have liked to have been part of, or part of the team that found them? Do you know of any other great buried treasures? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below, check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.